What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we all know mob spawners. And we all know how hard and annoying mob spawners are when you do not make them correctly. But this is why today, I'm here to show you guys how to make a mob spawner without... Not a, sorry, not a mob spawner, an XP farm without being a mob spawner. This is freaking easy. And you just need like a... a what are these? One of these, these, and these, and these, and these, and these, and a sword. Probably a sword. You probably don't need them because you have the magma blocks. But, yeah. But you're going to need a shield so nothing can hurt you while you're in the bait cage. Now, let's get straight in. So, now I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this. Uh, so, you just need to make sort of a contraction like this. You sort of want a... Uh, an area with of any kind of block going this. But if you're doing this in survival, you can just dig down. You can just dig down one block and try to make it even so this is in the middle. As you see here, I didn't make it even. I, I, I'm, I'm very stupid not making it even. I'm very stupid not to make it even. I don't know why I didn't make it even, but it still works this way. But if any, but you want to place the water anywhere, like you want to place it in the corner. You want to place it in this corner, and then that corner and every corner, and then you'll see some tiny gaps with no water there. So you want to put in the middle water, and sort of the water will all, but just make all every kind of mob flow to the magma box. So the magma box will damage the mobs. And if you want to see this thing working, oh, and there are uh, some of the, these um, hoppers, so. And if there's any like items drop that, or like any good items that are dropped, all the hoppers pick up and put it in here. I did not even notice all the stuff go in. Because last time I checked there wasn't all the stuff, but still. And you can close it and open it and close it and open it. Like just in case you want to hide, just they can't get me now. You can like jump out at me. So yeah, and if you want to see it working, then we'll do that right now. Time. Midnight, and now it's midnight. And for any reason, just get some mob spawners. If no mobs are gonna, but if you're doing this in survival, no, you can't do this normally. Spawn random skeletons everywhere. Let's spawn random zombies and some very stupid zombies. As we see, they'll come in here. But most of you guys will be doing this in survival, so let's turn ourselves into survival mode. Now we're in survival. Now all the mobs will try and get us, but that's why you need a shield. And since they're here, there's a little gap where you can if you need to hit them with. You may take some damage, but like it's still worth it for like the next key. Some mobs will get stuck there, like I said, but it doesn't matter, they won't do any damage to you. Skeletons may be able to shoot you, but like it doesn't matter. And some I uh, items will get stuck because the water dog doesn't work, but then it's okay, you can just wait till morning. The stuff uh, won't despawn that fast. Now let's just go into creative mode so none of the mobs that are in the water hurt us because when the mobs are in the water, they don't take damage from the sunlight. For any reason, if there was a piglin, then like, I don't know. And do you guys know that you can you can sink into the hoppers? See, it like you, I was just now sinking into the hopper. And see, if stuff gets stuck, just like grab it, doesn't matter. You can go in here. And like passive mobs will basically do it nothing. But see, like I said, zombies or skeletons wave may be stuck because of the. You could just come out and just hit them. Kind of like crazy. But the, the, the spiders just leave them there. They're not gonna hurt you passive for a day. They're passive. They don't hurt you. But they may also get stuck in magma. So every kind of mob will die. Now let's see what we got. It works, and we can even get potatoes, so then we can make a potato farm without needing to get a village. And you may have to put something on the top so nothing can get in. As you can see, something can get in. I didn't make it as proper, but you could do something like that, and nothing can get in from that side or any of the sides. You could do something like that. That would, that's, This would probably work. Nothing could get in. But this is just an example, so if you want to make this, just put two layers of magma, some of these. Try and make it even. If it's not even, it probably won't work. And if it doesn't work, you probably put the water in the wrong areas. So, yeah, this is how to make an XP farm without needing to, well, get a mob spawner. Now, if you think this won't work, see, 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 it's happening right now. 
happening right now in the wild. They're dying. Oh no, I'm dying. Help me, brother. Help me, brother. In the long by the king. Oh no. So like that will happen. Now, if I go in here and check how much XP I have, you guys will not know. So let's go into survival and see how much XP we got. XP, how much we get. We got 7 XP. We started with 0, we got 7. So like each night you'll probably get 7 XP or like more. So this is a really good. But if you're farming turtles, you can't really use this. Because when you're farming turtles, you don't sleep through the night. But, but this, you may not sleep through the night if you do this, which is very annoying. But it's still for the XP. It works it's good. Also, Lush Caves update. Wee! 